All right, hey everyone, so welcome to today's video. I'm here spending time with my producer man here, the, the master of his craft, of everything he does. And not only is he a producer to me, but we're helping each other uh, become successful, to rise up in our life together, to see the best out of each other ultimately, right? Basically, right? That's right. Yeah. Man, we just have to help each other in this world, I and mean, that's what it's all about, honestly. So we've been working hard at it, well, especially him, like he's really been working hard at it. All I do is like record my vocals and compose my lyrics and write, but I mean, that's still a big part of it, but you know, the composing part, it's very intricate in detail. It takes a lot. Uh, going on to the topic of this video, I had to have a serious discussion with you guys. This is a real talk, real field discussion. As per usual, as always, you know, all I do is put my heart out on my sleeve and everything I don't want to throw no names out there but for confidentiality confidentiality reasons and privacy reasons you know I'm not gonna go there but you know I guess this video you can interpret it as whatever you like it to be uh, inevitably you know it's it's like a general statement whether friendships or relationships you know this video applies to everybody equally I mean if you think about it so the general message of this is like, you know, you never want to lose, you don't ever want to be afraid of losing other people. You know, you have to be afraid of losing yourself. And uh, one thing I've come to realize in my, all my previous relationships or friendships, you know, especially when it comes to relationships of all things, because in a relationship, you're putting a lot more effort into it. I suppose like you do, you do the same thing, right, Jonathan, you do the same thing in a friendship. Absolutely. Yeah, but it, it's more like in a relationship perspective, it's a lot more intimate, obviously. And like with that being said, like you've got to put your all and everything in everything that you do. So my biggest concern for me, one of my biggest failures in my not really failures, it's just obstacles that I had to endure to tolerate, not just tolerate, but to overcome. And a relationship's all about compromise, finding commonality, common ground. And if you have issues with your partner or vice versa, obviously you want to open lines of communication and brutal honesty and truth. You want to just lay it all out there and never want to live in a past either. Like I'm personally, I'm an emotional being already when I'm sober, but when I'm drunk, tipsy, you know, I'm becoming a lot more emotional. You know, I, I, for one, I have to like, not many people know about this, but I live with the trauma of my past where as an infant, as an infant. Now, my biological mother left me for dead, literally in a, in a gas station fucking parking lot. And, you know, like, and my father had left my mother when he, she was pregnant with me. And this is the shit, like, I don't tell anybody, you know, until now, anyways, <laughs> so, and 20, 30 years go by and I still haven't heard a single thing from my mother, except for like a couple years ago. And you know, I've had a deep resentment, anger towards her for a long, many years of my life, as should one expect, you know? But I've started finding compromise. I started finding forgiveness for her. But the important thing of it is, is like, you never want to stay ensnared or enslaved to your past. You want to try to find ways to find peace and happiness within yourself and everything that you do. And Damn, man, this is... I'm too sober for this shit, Jonathan. <laughs> Jesus. Man, you know, you know, I've been trapped in this headspace for the last couple of days because, you know, I was going to say it, but forget about it. Yeah, the thing of the topic of the video is like, you know, all I try to do is try to make other people like successful, like glow them up and whoever, whoever fucks with me, whoever vibes with me, you know, automatically we win, you know, win in a lot of different aspects or whatever traits of your life that you want to pinpoint out in your particular goals and aspirations in your life, personally, in your existence, you know, whether it's like, you know, uh, man, what is, a, uh, you want a friend, right? I mean, just like my producer and I, Jonathan and I, like, we don't have no friends, really, you know, we don't, we don't mess with them, you know, you know, just don't really trust people, you know, we don't really vibe with many people because of how, like, how, like, different and unique we are, and we feel like, 
we're real inside of a world that's so artificially assimilated in a way that it's like it's people are so fake you know and it, it's hard and people are naturally intimidated by you they don't know how to receive your energy they don't know how to quite you know take in who you are and what you are and what you choose to be i rather choose to be real authentic core to myself and unapologetic and just be who I am, you know, naturally. Because I don't know how to be anything else except myself, you know, like, I go to sleep the same way I am. I'm I'm the same person I am off camera as I am, like, on camera. It don't matter to me, you know. But the thing of it is, is, like, if you break my heart, if you abandon me, if you betray me of any kind of my trust or whatever else, and you'll never find my heart in the same place where you left it. And that's my... My, I was about to throw a name out there, but no. Uh, <laughs> my ex learned that the hard way. Uh, she left me to share a relationship with God, wanted no sex in a relationship whatsoever. And uh, about a couple days later, she come crawling back to me, sliding my DMs. So I thought, you know, I give it a chance. I'll automatically, you know, naturally in your headspace, like you're pissed off and resentful and everything else so you know had dinner with her family over their crib you know and the entire time like i was just not really i guess it was awkward in a way but it's more like i was distancing myself and i you know i just wanted to say i wasn't the same person that she had fallen in love with and i mean i, I just in the night like kissed me on the cheek went home and I you know I literally straight up told her I said man I'm not the same person I am like I'm sorry not sorry but you know man I hate talking about relationships and things it's just it's crazy but um like I said this video is like just like a general statement no shade no sh taking shots nothing this is just brutal honesty and like authentic and real conversation and I think everyone should have like conversations that are like open you know that's all I do. You know, like I said, I'm like, me personally, I try to like vibe with everybody. I try to do right by everybody. And if I fuck up, well, that's on me. And then I apologize for it. Then, you know, I forgive myself or not. I don't know. Depending on a situation, you know. <laughs> but, now, um, people ask me, how do you sleep at night knowing that you got haters and people don't like you? Well, with a fan on, right? <laughs> so. It's like Jonathan here, you know, he's been watching this channel, my videos for a couple of years and we vibe together and I think he knows more about me than I know about him, right? It's, <laughs> it's one of those crazy things, you know, people watch you, but I'm not able to see other people unless they want to, you know, but I mean, the most important thing is at the end of the day, just try to make yourself happy and as heartbreaking as it is, sometimes you have to make sacrifices or find compromise some way or another. But if you can't find compromise, then you might as well end a friendship. You might as well break up. Just do something, you know, because I don't. I deserve happiness. I, I'm. I have self worth and self respect, and I am enough. Like my now deceased best friend Jamie always told me, I am enough, and those were his favorite words. To always tell me before he passed away. And, um, uh, you know, I just deal with a lot, you know, and, uh, if I get drunk and if I say some stupid, stupid things or, you know, hurtful things, it's not by intentional or by design, you know, it's just like, I become even more like emotional when I'm drunk and like, sometimes I just get that way. Just kind of like take the edge off. I unwind, I write out my here lately, write out my lyrics and everything. But, uh, I don't know, uh, on a deeper introspective level, getting to know me, if you really get to know me, like watch my videos, because like I said, I don't pretend to be anything else. I just pour my heart out and this is who I am, you know? <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, well, I gotta, I'm gonna get back to composing the beats and everything.